The first thing that you want to do with your new Amazon Prime Fire tablet is install the Google Play Store. Now it's very straightforward to install as there's a link on my Twitter account that will enable you to do it. So all you need to do is open up the Silk browser, which just to, to show you that, that's Silk browser there. And all you need to do is type in Tomo's Tech and Twitter. It should come up for you. And then just go onto that site. And what you'll get is two results. First one is my main Twitter page. Or you can go directly to the tweet. But I would suggest that you go to the top one. And after a moment, you will get my Twitter feed. And at the top, I have pinned a tweet which says, Links to install the Google Play Store on a Kindle Fire 2017. It works on all of them. So before we do anything with any of these links, we first need to go into our settings. So if you drag down from the top of the screen and you should see a little cog. If you press on the cog and in there, if you go into security and privacy and within the security and privacy page, you need to Click on apps from unknown sources and just click on Silk Browser and just allow from this source if it's not already selected. Occasionally you might get a system option uh, in which case you need to allow it on system rather than just a Silk Browser. And once you've allowed that option, go back to Twitter like so and all you're going to do click on the first link and you will see you are linked to Google account manager uh, you might have to accept the cookies first and all you're doing you go into this link here download APK your device will start to download an APK file if you don't know what an APK file is, it is basically an executable file for Android. So if you press download when the prompt comes up, and once it's downloaded, press open. And then bottom right hand corner, you should just be able to see that. You can just press install. Then when that's finished, go back to the Twitter page again. And then click on link 2 and do the same thing, download it and then install it. Then link three, uh, but if you've got a Fire 8 from 2017, your link three will be that next one there. Once you've done the first three, you need to click on that final link there. So this comes up as the thumbnail for the tweet. Um, and if you just press on that, I'll just show you, just so that you know how it works. Go into that and again, same thing. Download APK and you will get the Google Play Store. What I would suggest when you've installed all of those, reboot your device as occasionally you may not get all of the Google Play Store icons showing. But once you have, you've rebooted, there we have the Google Play Store. The next thing you need to do with your new Amazon Kindle Fire tablet is install an SD card, a micro SD card. I'll just move this away so you can actually see what I'm showing you. So in this case we've got an 8 gigabyte one but I would suggest a much larger one as they're very cheap. Some links in the description below but for this I'm just going to use this spare 8 gigabyte one that I have got. So we take our tablet and we look down the edge until we find a lovely little SD slot there. You just use your nail if you've got them. I haven't, but it works. And you get the SD slot. So it only goes in one way. And all you do is just push it in and push the flap down. 
and the flap should just be flush once you have done that. Next thing you need to do with that installed or rather inserted it should come up with a prompt for you which I'm just going to have to move the camera back so that you can see. So it says how will you use this SD card? We'll use it for extra tablet storage for apps, files and media on this tablet only or would you like to use it for portable storage? What we want to do is select the top option unless you're going to use the SD card in another device uh, and what this lets you do is install some data for some apps on the SD card which then means that you've got more internal storage for more apps so we'll just press on that now and it asks you if you want to format it so as long as you've not got anything on the card that you want to keep then just format the storage device after a few seconds it will be formatted. Okay, so in my case, I'm using a very old micro SD card here, but it's just giving me a warning saying it's a, a slow SD card. Um, but that, that's not much of an issue, it just means that you won't be able to access it as quickly as with a more modern micro SD card. So we'll just hit continue, and then it'll ask you if you want to move content to the storage device. And you want to click on move content, and then that will free up storage. But then whatever you do, do not take the SD card out of the device as you will lose your apps. After a few moments that will uh, have completed, you will get a message saying your SD card is ready to use and just hit done. Right, the next little tip I'm going to show you, which will stop quite a bit of nuisance items coming up on your Amazon Kindle Fire tablet. So at the moment if I drag down, you can see that I've got a notification there. And um, that says, recommended for you, check out your top picks on Prime Video. Uh, you might want to leave these switched on, but if you don't, there is a way of getting rid of them. So all you do is hold down your finger on the notification, and you'll see a little eye. If you tap on the eye, and then there is a option here for notifications and you can change anything on here so you don't have to stop them all so you can get you can turn them all off with that top one or you can turn off new releases and recommendations downloads and debug settings so the the new releases and recommendations you might want to switch that off I'd probably leave the other stuff on there and then once you've made changes to that just go back home and you're done the okay, next useful feature I'm going to show you is, um, this only applies if you're a, a Prime member and you've got Prime Video. Uh, if you go into the Prime Video app, and within there, at the bottom right hand corner, there's an icon that says My Stuff. You press on that, and then Settings at the top, and within there, if you click on Stream and Download, there's a setting here called On Deck. Now what that does, that basically downloads TV shows and programs that it thinks that you would like to watch. So it won't download anything that you've already watched unless uh, you've watched everything and uh, you've gone back, going back around all of the content, but I very much doubt anyone's at that point. Uh, but what it does, usefully, it will come up with some a small amount of content that you might want to watch. Goodness knows why some of these are recommended, but... Uh, Never mind, they're all good stuff. Uh, and it just takes up a little bit of space, but nothing too drastic. In this case, five videos, 1.5 gigabytes, but it does mean that if you're somewhere where you've not got Wi-Fi or you've, you're not able to tether your 4G or 5G, then you are still in a position where you can watch some content. Finally, the, uh, the next one I want to show you is the Alexa Show Mode. Sorry. I'm not sure. Well, I'm sure, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So, if there's no option here to select Alexa Show Mode, just go into Settings again, and within here, there is uh, an option for Alexa. Done it again. You don't have any notifications. <laughs> Apologies if I've triggered your uh, devices. Um, so if we go into Her Who Shall Not Be Named, I will switch it on, 
and we could do hands-free mode. Uh, we could have a wake word, so you can choose from uh, the two that are there. And uh, you can actually now, you didn't used to be able to do this, but you can turn on ESP behaviour. So if you've got a few devices, this enables them to basically pick up the closest device rather than any device that's listening. Uh, so I'm going to switch that on. And then you go into show mode. And there's plenty of settings you can uh, you can set on here. You can change your background so that it's uh, your Amazon photos. Don't know whether or not you've seen what the um, show devices are like. But they're very good. As you can change a few uh, few options here. Um, but what we want to do is from the top, we've got it on here, hands free. Turn it off at any point. So once you've done that, if you just drag from the top, there's a little toggle there to enable show mode. So we switch that on. And it goes into show mode. So we can try things like, um, Alexa, what's the weather like in Leeds? Right now in Leeds, England, it's five degrees Celsius with cloudy skies. Tonight's forecast has showers with a low of three degrees. There we go. So we get a lot more information from her who shall not be named, which is really nice. Alexa, play me a video. Playing top result. By the way, safe search is currently on. To turn it off, go to device settings and select restrict access for web videos. So that's it for today's video. I thank you very much for watching. And if you've not yet hit the subscribe button, then please do so below here. I'll much appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.